over here is where you're going to witness me put together a Christmas tree for the year 2023. The ending of 2023. Let's begin. music as well. Okay, right here, um, you can see me starting to talk to you about something. Um, yeah, so honestly, right now, what I'm feeling in this um, part of the video is I'm feeling very nervous about um, maybe a bug or whatever may, um, I don't know, bite me or whatever. Um, so yeah, you can see I have a little bit of fear right now, but um, now um, I'm talking about how I experienced, um, I watched somebody um, take the head of a wasp, cut it off with their knife, and then I watched the wasp's body kind of attach its head right back onto its body afterwards. <laughs> and I thought that was also a pretty cool story to tell um, as well. But yeah, I'm freaking out right here. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heap. It's Christmas, y'all, and it's time to be merry. What do y'all? Here's a question for everybody who is tuned in. As a cactus, you're as charming as um, Mr. Grinch. What? What comes to mind? Um, what comes to your mind um, when Christmas time is near or here, even now? Christmas time is basically right around the corner. It's two days after Thanksgiving. Right now, what comes to mind when I think about Christmas is joy. That's an example. So, synonyms to joy, or not synonyms to joy, but. Well, what comes to your mind, you know, um, when you think of Christmas? Let's try this, this one 
look. Pretty nice egg, pretty nice. Christmas tree up now the next step is to get the box of bulbs and get the lights that is going on the tree as well so um, that is the next step so I'm gonna turn this Christmas music up and uh, hopefully songs that you enjoy and you can bask in and uh, get get your comments in um, while I get the box and uh, get your comments in about what do you think about when when Christmas time is near or here you know what do you think about I think about joy that's my that's my uh, example there so <laughs> Music. 
Christmas tree that shows um, but this time since I have windows here I'm going to, to it, I'm going to decorate the other side of it as well probably pretty much all around it so others can see the beautiful lights for Christmas <laughs> all right, oh, I'm trying to dig into the glitter I'm like glitter <laughs> My Christmas tree oh, With some decorations By a Mercedes oh, I really do Believe in you Now let's see if you Believe in I don't have much more glue And it's all gonna go on this side I'm just like, oh well Got some medicine water how about I put, um, I really like where every glue uh, ball is placed right now. I don't really want to move them. And no offense, I'm just going to toss this other ball to the side. I don't know if anyone else has seen it, but I don't have a preference with a football team. And I just, uh, I'm not going to get into all of all of that on why I have this bulb right now because that's a whole nother shebang that I don't want to get into right now, okay? At least for right now. So this is going down here and then I'm going to put on my other bulbs. Ring, 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 ring,
and stuff, and they're just, they're amazing people. Vicky and Mandy, I love y'all.
it, that's, that's all this video is about, is putting on my Christmas tree. And voila! Looks like it's um, done. Okay, so it was nice having a jolly good old time. Um, and I am so thankful to have y'all um, join me so that I'm not alone doing it this year. <laughs> because I've been independent all my life, but it's good. It's good to have some independence finally to be able to do things on my own. It's building character and getting to know myself and it's been good. God has been good to me. Um, I'm going to leave off here with a verse that the Lord had given me. Um, there's actually two of them, but they're both implying the same thing. But I'm, so I'm just going to give them one. I'm going to turn on this music so that you can hear what I'm saying. Okay, so... I'm going to get my Bible. Um, those of you who's not, I just want to clear something up here. Those of you who are not spiritual and is not interested in um, the Bible, you know, you're, you're more than welcome. Um, as well as the ones who are interested in what I have to say um, concerning um, the Lord Jesus Christ and, you know, spiritual stuff um, in that sense. Um, so, even if you have a different religion, you don't have to boot skadoos, but you can if you want to during these times. Um, you're more than welcome to join along during videos, um, all my videos, and, um, but, I do want to provoke the love of Christ um, upon everyone, and so um, I just, I'm a witness to all of his um, love and goodness. Um, my life has changed completely for the good, um, for the better, and it's going to continue, and um, I believe that with faith, with diligence, all diligence, and um, putting away of the lust of this, lustly desires of this world, um, and adding on knowledge and virtue, um, and, um, joy, temperance, and patience as well. Um, I believe that, um, once I got baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of the only name, Jesus Christ, not the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, because those were only titles. Um, yes, I do believe that other churches that do not add Jesus Christ um, to their baptism is doing it wrong. They're only naming the titles and not giving the glory um, to the Lord that He deserves. And so, anyway, so Jesus Christ, um, I believe since He died on the cross for my sins, for everyone's sins. He did it for all. Um, and it's for everyone. Of course, he's given us all a choice. Um, anyway, it's for everybody who wants to be cleansed from their sins and wants to spend the rest of eternal life um, with him. And so I believe that I am cleansed from every sin since July 16, 2017 when I went under the water and back out in the name of Jesus Christ and I received the gift of the Holy Ghost and started speaking in tongues and my life has never been the same since. I've been, I've broken, he's broken the chains of addiction off of me and bondage off of me and curses off of me. Um, and. I've been walking in his light and in his goodness ever since. So, I used to smoke cigarettes, I used to drink, I used to do many other forms of getting high, um, including marijuana, and though it may be legal in some states, doesn't make it right. Um, the standards of holiness of Jesus Christ is, okay, I'm teaching now, but I'm um, preaching now, but I'm not going to get into all of that. I'm not going to do that because, anyway, 
I'm just sharing my testimony, and then it's just a quick testimony, and then I'm going to share this verse. So, yes, I'm cleansed of every sin, um, every day, um, from now on for the rest of my life, because Jesus died for me, and he, he's not dead, he's not still hanging on that cross, and he's not dead, he's, he's alive, very much alive, um, he resurrected on the third day like he said he would and as much as that sounds like it's a miracle it's a, as much as a miracle as it is just being in the here and now all of this is a miracle in itself people are like don't even know you know so to get to know the truth you got to really seek the truth okay and when you actually seek the truth you will find the truth and you'll see that the truth is that Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and the life and you're not going to be able to find out unless you truly want to know and you truly seek with all your heart and all your soul so that being said, that ends my quick testimony for you. Um, and then I'm going to read you the verse that God has given me um, this past week um, during my prayer and meditation time with him. Excuse me. So, let's see here. It's easy to find because I got my tabs. See, I got tabs laid out here. These are all my declaration tabs. So, and here's just this one yellow one because I started to make this like a prayer Bible and it's more of a declaration, which is prayer, but it's a different form of prayer. It's just more like declaring than what I actually started to make it to be. But um, this is what he's given me, okay? It's about... Um, contentment. Not joy, but contentment. He said in the book of Hebrews, um, chapter 12, verse 20, through the Apostle Paul, he said, Let your conversation be without covetousness. Okay, if you look in Psalms 23, it's kind of like that, where the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, he's not telling you, no, you shouldn't want things. He's really telling, I mean, he is, but not in the sense that you think he is. He's really telling you that you're not going to lack anything that you need. Um, he's going to be there for you, and he's never going to leave you, because that's what he says in this following um, sentence after he says, let your conversation be without covetousness, you know, without, I want this, I want that, you know. He says, and be content with such things as you have, with what you already have. Be content. And then he goes on to say, for he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Um, so, what do you think that means? You know, because he said that, he's not only saying, you know, he's going to give us everything we need. He loves us so much. So that's what he's speaking to me. And so it's not my will to keep that to myself, you know. So I'm going to share that with my, my, um, my viewers. I'm going to share that with everybody that I know as well. So, um, yes, I said that. And so God will open up the doors for me to do so. He said to be content and um, with what you have, for I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end it with that. And uh, so, yes, times, I'm not going to end it with that. I lied. <laughs> I didn't lie, but the Holy Ghost is moving. He said time Times will come where it seems like he's not there. But when you open up that word, he reminds you that I am there. So in times where you're like, man, you're looking at how much work you 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 put in at work, and you're like, whoa, why is this happening? You know, I'm not getting enough hours so that I'm not getting enough money to make up my rent or you know, my car expense that I need for my car problems, or even, you know, 
other things that is also important for life, you know, well, that's the thing. It may seem like it, but if you hang on to what he ha what he's telling you, when you you're not going to be able to hear what God tells you if you don't read your word. So you got to open up the word to see what God's saying to you every single day. Spend time with him and he will start speaking to you. I'm a witness to that. And he has spoken to me through his word, mostly through his word, right? In other ways, he has spoken to me, but I won't get into all of that right now. Um, anyway, he will remind you that I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. This may be going on, but honey, I never left you. It's going to be okay. I will provide. You will have everything that you need. So, I'm just, I, th I, I give him thanks right now. Hallelujah. I can feel the presence of God and I really hope you feel it too. <laughs> so, um, yes. So I'm going to end that with here. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Um, whether you put up your trees or not, that is completely up to you. Um, everybody has their own personal um, convictions and um, their own relationship with the Lord. So I believe, you know, that <clears throat> he hasn't told me no on the Christmas tree. You know, as long as, as I'm not making that thing exalt over him, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so, I love y'all. Um, Lord, I thank you for everybody watching, God. I pray, God, over them and their families. I pray that you bless them, and I pray that you give them um, all that they need to... Um, to... Um, all that they need and you said we have not because we ask not I ask that you protect them and bless them in all areas of their lives in Jesus mighty name and um, show them a fresh revelation of who you are and what you did for them um, in Jesus name I pray amen God bless